Hey guys, Frank Rich here from MassTheticMuscle.com and in today's video we're going to go over and explain the best exercise that you need to be doing to build a bigger chest. Now, it's not going to be the barbell bench press, it's not going to be an incline barbell bench press, it's not going to be any barbell movements at all that we go over today, it's not going to be dumbbell pressing either. All of those exercises and movements are important and you need to make sure that you're using them. But without this one exercise that we explained to you today, you're gonna to be missing out on a lot of opportunities for growth. As we explained in some of our other videos before, that in order to fully develop a muscle and get the most out of an exercise, it needs to have a great resistance profile, meaning the load and tension that that muscle or that that exercise provides matches your body's natural ability to produce force and produce output. So with using some of those other, other movements, they are great at developing strength and will work the muscles through certain ranges. There's very big gaps in those exercises. So what we want to do is we want to use those very strategically within our training, build up our strength, but then take that newfound strength and apply it to this exercise. So what we're gonna show you today and explain the execution of is gonna be a cable fly. Now we're gonna add a little twist to it and um, show you how you can actually take this movement and extend the set out much, much further and get more uh, hypertrophy, get more muscle fiber damage out of this one movement. Now, you guys may or may not be familiar with a term or training principle known as a mechanical drop set, but basically what it is, is it's very similar to a standard drop set. With a standard drop set, what you do is you take a weight, you take that set or with that weight to failure, then you drop the weight. You literally use less weight and extend that set further out. And depending on your training, your program, what you're following, you may follow that same principle three to four times. With a mechanical drop set, it allows you to get the same out of the exercise, extending it further, but instead of dropping the weight, what we're gonna actually do is we're gonna, ex uh, we're gonna alter the execution and alter the mechanics of that movement. Let me explain. So with a cable, as we know, as we explained before, the greatest distance, the greatest load comes when this cable is at a 90 degree angle to our hand. So we're gonna, we're gonna use that to our advantage, placing that angle at different points throughout the movement. So what I'm gonna start with is gonna start with the two-handed cable fly, and I'm literally gonna stand almost behind the cable. So when I do my fly, you can see here in the shortened position, or in the most contracted state, this is where we're at our 90 degrees. So this is gonna be the beginning phase of my set. Okay, from there I'm gonna go eight to 10 reps, take that point or that position to failure. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a small step forward. Now as you can see, the angle or the point within the movement where that angle becomes 90 degrees changes. It's no longer here. I'm not getting as much tension as I was back there. I'm getting the most tension, the most load here kind of in a more mid range. Now I'm still doing the full movement, the full range. It's just the tension is being altered. It's really allowing me to get more out of that. Then from there I'll do once again, eight to 10 reps, take that position of failure, and then take a smaller step forward. Now, as we can see, we're much further out here where we're at 90 degrees. So at this point within this range, this is where the tension is at its greatest. Once again, I'm gonna do the full range because I don't want to be missing out on any, any load or any tension, but I want to be able to get the most out of it and make this movement match my natural, uh, my body's natural strength. I can even take it a step further and really kind of work it here where I'm in a really lengthened state. So literally almost in a fully stretched, fully lengthened state is where I'm getting the most tension here. And once again, oh, see actually I bottomed out here, so you don't want to go that far out. So let me just run that through with you guys one more time. So I'm gonna start this set, this cable. And once again, I'm keeping all my natural cues with this movement. So I wanna keep my, my core engaged, abs locked down. I wanna keep my shoulders depressed. I wanna make sure that my front delts aren't doing that. So all of our other cues that we talk about, as far as the execution of a chest fly, wanna make sure we're still using those. We're just applying this advanced training technique to get the most out of the movement. So we'll start here. 
really working it in that shortened, contracted range. Small step. And by doing this, drop set this way, what's called a mechanical drop set, we're increasing our time under tension. We're not having to take a break to pick up another weight. We're getting more work, more dense work, more density in the set, creating the greatest amount of muscle fiber damage. And really, we're going to generate a metabolic response as well. So this is a great way to build muscle, burn fat, and ultimately sculpt your aesthetic physique. So there you have it, guys. Like I said, I'm not knocking any other movements that we do. I do feel that bench press, incline, decline, all the variations, whether the machines with dumbbells, are very, very important. And if you follow my programs, you know that all of those are integrated into it. But by utilizing max output sets, and, or I'm sorry, uh, mechanical drop sets, in your chest using the cable fly, this is gonna be the most important exercise for you to get the biggest chest that you're chasing. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you're interested in picking up a free workout uh, one week from Masthetic Muscle, we got a link in the description box below. So pick that up, send us your email, and we'll get that sent over to you right away. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, tag anybody that you think could see value in this, and leave us a comment if it's something you want to see in the future. We'll talk to you soon.